Thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is uh, Tokpe Koladi Fashua. I'm uh, Chairman ANRP, Abundant Nigeria Renewal Party, which we also know as the Computer Party. I'm also the presidential candidate. Uh, I thank you for your honest uh, take on the issue, even though it's quite jarring to, to many of us. Um, of course, I've been asked by some of my uh, candidates in our, on our platform uh, whether you're going to have any, co you know, any kind of compensation for the party, according to also what Dr. King said. Um, I, I also think that uh, this current scenario and what we have seen that in 2011, 2015, and now in 2019, INEC uh, postpones elections, uh, that there's, uh, we need to now begin to think of how to systemize a lot of your operations and go down the route of uh, information technology and technology in general. Uh, Nigerians are asking why with their PVCs, they cannot vote anywhere they are. After all, they are now used to ATMs, and with their ATM cards, they can withdraw anywhere. This whole idea of people traveling back to their villages and so on uh, is not only expensive monetarily, but also does not promote the unity of this country. I think we should invest. Let's begin to look forward now and really invest in that, in that process. Um, um, and, and we would also want to have your assurances that with the given seven days or so to the elections now, how do you ensure that uh, uh, you prevent sabotage of any type? Those who want to take the uh, time uh, as opportunity to rig or to make deals back end. We would want your assurances because again, um, if Nigeria's GDP is $420 billion or thereabout, that means daily Nigeria is shutting in, like today, perhaps at least half of a day's GDP, which would be anything in the region of $700 million. And so people who have gone to the villages are wondering if they should stay the next seven days in which case they'll have to stay for three weeks, or if they should come back, and how do we work that out? So anyway, on, on that note, I'd like to end, and I thank you for your forthrightness, yourself and members of your team, who I know from my interactions with you as a chairman of a party that you are striving hard to, to, to be upright and to deliver the goods to Nigerians. But of course, this is a very testy times, and this is also a very shocking news to us. Thank you very much. Chairman and presidential candidate of the ANRP, compensation for parties for mobilizing for the elections. And now you have to demobilize, and then you have to remobilize again uh, for the elections on Saturday. Well, INEC does not fund political parties. Um, but at the same time, the law is very clear also as to how Parties can be supported from the national pause. There has to be an act of the National Assembly, and the National Assembly has to make the resources available to the Commission to support political parties. Since members of the National Assembly are your candidates, you hold the key to resolving that issue. Why can't Nigerians vote anywhere with their PVCs? It's a very good suggestion. I think as our democracy matures more and we deploy and deepen the use of technology, this is going to happen. But for now, the law says that you only vote where you are registered, but you can transfer your vote elsewhere. So as long as the law remains what it is, and the level of technology also remains what it is, unfortunately, people can only vote where they are registered. Election is a process governed by law. Assurance on measures against saboteurs. Yes, we have taken measures. I think you are referring to the fire incidents in three locations. When the fire incident in Plato happened, I personally called the Inspector General of Police. I requested for greater fortification of all our assets nationwide. And I'm happy to say that 
the Inspector General of Police responded positively. Because since Kwampan and since Anambra, there were two fire incidents abated. One, an attack on our office in Kwali in the FCT, and another one, an attack on one of our offices in Akwaibom State. In fact, the attack on the office in Akwaibom State and the fire that started was actually put out by the police. So we have taken measures to ensure that we protect um, our properties nationwide. And this is extended to the staff that we engage on election duty, as well as observers, candidates, voters, and the media.